Hello solar buddies. Starting another one. It's Monday. Get that squeak. Huh, wonder what that is. I've already got started. I've been a little busy this morning. Forgot to uh, bring you guys along with me. So this is another Grand Design Momentum toy hauler 397th and it's one of the big packages it's going to have uh, 2600 watts of solar eight panels up here uh, 325 watt panels we're going with 600 amps of batteries they're going to get three easy starts uh, dual multi pluses uh, 712 and dual MPPTs so this is going to be a pretty good system. So, uh, I think I should get going. It's a lot of stuff to get done in a week. So, let's get to it. Six to go. Five more. That's good. Ah, oh, three more. See that? That's planning. The last one goes right there. I have to put an outside bracket on the outside edge, but this roof is wide enough to have a panel to the side. The AC unit, which is pretty unusual. This has to go back a little bit. It hangs out about an inch, but with the uh, awning there, you really, really can't tell it. You do get a decent amount of shading from the uh, AC unit, but you're able to get an eighth panel on the roof. It's a good trade-off. Hello everyone, so today is day three. I, uh, I didn't record anything yesterday. It's actually the end of day three, and I've been leaving you guys out, so let's get you up to speed. Uh, the roof is completely done. We've got three easy starts in place, uh, 2,600 watts of solar, two separate uh, systems. The um, uh, all the wiring, everything's done uh, coming down inside on the um, two gauge wires, which are dangling in the middle here, as you can see. So now, um, today I did all the rebuilding uh, after all the steps were removed, and I've gotten all of the uh, carpeting prep done. So now all I do is uh, Put in all the equipment, got a little bit of cleaning up to do here with that. And uh, where's another one? There was another one right there. I gotta cover that. But, uh, and then that mess is next uh, after I get all this stuff mounted and kind of figure out where, how it's gonna be. 
So this this is how this is going to be for sure. Uh, I've already got my feed holes cut. And then uh, once everything's mounted, I've got to get all that put up over there. Uh, once all of that is uh, in place, then I can start connecting everything. And once that's done, we test it all and hand it over. So, the end of day three, um, we should be done with this by uh, the end of day five, two more days. So, but uh, 600 amps of lithium, 2600 watts of solar, um, double multi pluses, double MPPTs, and a 712 cartridge in a pear tree kind of thing. Anyhow, see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's day four. I'm uh, comfortably set up in the basement. And um, we're gonna take all of this and get it all mounted up in this area. Uh, I've got my bracing in here to get it all put away. I've uh, gotta do some riveting, some self-tapping, lots of zip ties and wire, man wire management. Uh, once we get all of that in place, then uh, probably take power off the coach for a little bit, get the transfer switch moved, get power coming over to the uh, dual multi-plus, and uh, get them in place. Then we will start doing some interconnecting with the, the wires. So let's get you set up in time lapse and get this stuff installed. Friday morning, day five. Uh, getting ready to wrap it all up today. Just have batteries and the walls. So, knock on wood. Here where some wood is. Should be all completed today. So, in order to get these batteries in here, I gotta get all of that silver stuff out of the way. Because the case of the furnace is grounded. The connections to the tubing are metal, therefore grounded, and the actual tubes themselves are metal, so they're grounded. So if you are doing this and you have a heating duct that comes near a positive terminal, that's fire hazard. Burn your coach up in a heartbeat because it turns that whole thing into a great big molten rod, per se, and uh, just not good. So you know what you're doing when you're messing with uh, power like this. So, anyhow, let's get things rearranged, and then um, get some batteries in place, get them fastened down, get them all wired up, and then we will make the tie-ins. So, let's get it going. <laughs> 